Manhattan Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Amiko Cowder. Three new crew members have arrived at the station to complete the crew of Expedition 44. First-timers NASA astronaut Shell Lindgren and Japanese astronaut Kimia Yui, along with veteran space flyer Russian cosmonaut Oleg Kononenko, had quite a busy day leading up to launch. After waking up, they signed their hotel room doors and then headed to the launch site for suit-up. After saying farewell to their families and friends, they waved goodbye and boarded their Soyuz rocket. The trio launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome on Thursday morning and took about a nine-minute trip into orbit. Six hours later, the Soyuz carrying station's newest crew members docked to the International Space Station while flying 260 miles above the ocean near Ecuador at 17,500 miles per hour. Less than two hours after their arrival, the hatches were open and the new station residents joined the onboard crew of Gennady Padaka, Scott Kelly and Mikhail Kornienko. The two space newcomers are now connecting to people back on Earth from their new orbital home. Follow the wonder through their eyes on Twitter at Astro Shell and Astro Kimia. This week's social media question is from Programmer Dude, and he asks, how does the ISS smell? Well, many space travelers have described the smell of space that is experienced upon opening the hatches of a newly arrived spacecraft as a distinct odor. Recently, space veteran Scott Kelly related that smell to the combination of two unrelated odors here on Earth. You know, it, the, the smell is a combination of, you know, occasionally like an antiseptic smell combined with like garbage, <laughs> you know, but it doesn't really smell bad. Make sure to keep sending us your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.